Okay, this is a very short video tutorial to support my games based curriculum for touch develop. In quite a lot of my examples, um, both on the videos and in my notes, I ask you to use the physics game starter template. The template doesn't seem to be shown anymore. Um, so in order for you to still use my curriculum, I'm going to show you how to create the template yourself. So first of all, what you would do is click on create script. Then I want you to take blank, total blank, touch develop application and give it a name. Regain. Click on create and that gives you a total blank uh, touch develop script. We have to create the game board. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to click on bar, I'm going to call it board. And I'm going to take media and take create landscape board. If you want the game to be up and down, um, like on a phone, uh, portrait style, take create portrait board, but I'm going to take create landscape board and I'm going to leave the resolution as it is. Um, now because we're going to use the game loop later on, we want to take board and we want to promote it to data so it's accessible anywhere within your script. Um, and the other thing I want to do, which is part of the physics game starter, was to turn gravity on. So we're going to do data board and set the gravity and you can set that to whatever you want remember that the y there is up and down so that means 200 down the way so that will act like gravity the other thing you need to do is data board and you need to post it to the wall and that's all you do in main the other bit that you need to add is an event called game loop so we're going to go into add new action um, if you go down to more options and take event and then click on game loop. Right, and inside the game loop there's just two things we need to do. One is to take the board and evolve it. And the second thing we need to do is take the board and update it on the wall. Okay, and that is your physics game starter created. If I run that though, nothing happens. So just to prove that it's worked, I'm going to go back to main. I'm going to say var ball. I'm going to take data board and I'm going to create an ellipse. I'm going to, and that's it. I'm just going to do that and put a ball on the screen. There we go. And the ball's falling. Now to test that the game loop is working, I'm going to do something in there. So what I'm going to say in there is data. Sorry, not data. I need to make it. Uh, I need to promote it, promote it to data, so I'm going to go back to the ball so that I can access it from inside the game loop and I'm going to promote to data. And then I'm going back into the game loop, I'm going to say data ball and I am going to set the colour to random. Right. So what that will do is because it's looping constantly the game loop, it's going to set the ball to different colour every time it loops and that will give me this effect. A psychedelic ball falling through the screen. Okay, back to main. One thing you may want to do in your games is you may want to set the ball behind the thing. So we may want to set the background to say black, and maybe you want to set the set the foreground to say white, for instance. Um, that will be hidden by the game board. But if you're doing things like posting the high score table onto the wall then that starts to become useful. If you run that now, you see it shows through. If you set the board to have a colour or a picture, it covers it up, but it's kind of useful to do that as well, just in case. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks, guys.